I thought I'd try to whittle a bass lure. I'm not a great fisherman, and I am far from a good woodcarver. This project would be well suited for beginners. Any kind of sharp knife would probably work. You could even use a Dremel if you wanted to. I decided it would be easiest to make a floating surface action lure. I found pictures of an old lure online that had a unique shape. The Spin Areno was a smaller version of the once very popular Bass Areno. A piece of bass wood seemed appropriate for this lure. I sketched the profile onto the wood. Since I was working from pictures, I had to eyeball the size. I was shooting for a total weight of about one quarter ounce. I had the screw eyes, split rings, and hooks on hand from an old project. This type of hardware is available online. One good source is Jan's Netcraft. I started by whittling out the profile I sketched on the block. I wear a thumb guard I made out of duct tape. Some people also recommend a glove for your offhand. After I carved out the profile, I started working on rounding and tapering. I saved the scooped out section for last. This is the part that gives the lure its action. I smoothed out my carving marks with sandpaper. I think I started with 180 grit. I used a piece of dowel to help me sand the scooped out section. So here's the lure sanded smooth. I tried to keep the shape as symmetric as possible so that it would run true in the water. At this point I decided to weigh the lure. Again I was shooting for about one quarter ounce. She was a little heavy. Time to work off some weight. So after some more whittling and sanding, I was close enough to one quarter ounce. Using the photos of the spinnerino, I marked the locations of the screw eyes. I drilled into the wood just enough to get the screw eyes started. I used a pair of needle nose pliers to help tighten the eyes. I realize screw eyes may not be the most secure option for attaching the hooks, but they are the simplest and easiest for beginners. It will be interesting to see how these screw eyes hold up over time. I applied two coats of polyurethane to seal the wood. I did not want to add color until I tested the lure's action. I put the split ring on the hook part way. Using the hook to keep the split ring open makes it easier to get it on the screw eye without stabbing yourself. There are special pliers for attaching split rings, but you can manage without the tool. I double checked the weight. I think the next one I make, I will shoot for 3 16 ounce. I was very pleased with the lure's action. Not bad for eyeballing it. I think the best way to fish it is with a start-stop retrieve. It looks like it could catch fish. And it did. I was able to hook two bass with the lure on the morning I tested it. Since the fish seem to like the clear urethane finish, I'm not in a hurry to add any color. It is really exciting to catch a fish on a lure you made yourself. I hope my success inspires you to try whittling your own fishing lure. Thanks for watching.